France had delivered the 250 kg basic version of the Hammer Precision Air to Ground Standoff Systems to the Indian Air Force in November 2020, which is manufactured by the French firm Safran Electronics and Defense. In a significant development, a new 1000 kg version of the Hammer system produced by Safran Electronics and Defense has successfully completed its first two separation tests from a Rafale fighter jet yesterday, and its standoff range has also been extended due to the integrated propulsion system. The first firing test will be conducted in 2021, and the Rafale can carry three of these heavy Hammer standoff systems, thus giving it an enhanced strike capability. The 1000 kg variant of the Hammer system and Next Generation Meteor and Next Generation Micro system are expected to make its entry on the new Rafale F-4 standard of the French Air Force in 2022, and the French Ministry of Defence and Dassault Aviation are open to offer the Rafale F-4 standard in the upcoming request for proposal for procurement of 114 fighter jets by the Indian Air Force. A Delhi-based defense analyst has said that the lease of Sea Guardian drones by India is a particularly important action because it has opened up a whole new world of fighter replacement options for the Indian Air Force. India can get access to a large number of F-16 Mirage 2000 and Gripen fighter jets on lease, which will not derail the indigenous Tejas fighter jet program and will allow to retire the MiG-21, MiG-29 and Jaguar strike aircraft. Despite these being second-hand aircraft, they will still vastly outclass the light fighter jets operated by China and Pakistan. The US State Department had sanctioned five Chinese and Russian companies for a period of two years, for supplying items to Iran and North Korea, that could materially contribute to ballistic missile systems. The Russian defense company AVA Zapcast has said that its sanction by the U.S. State Department would not affect the dealing with Indian partners for the Brahmos supersonic cruise system, and has assured its Indian partners of continued business operations, as the U.S. sanction has no legal impact in India. Indian Foreign Minister's recent visit to Seychelles is seen as a fresh attempt by India to revive the agreement to establish a military facility in the island nation. The proposed agreement was stalled by the leader of opposition party in 2018, who is now the newly elected president of Seychelles. Apart from military training, the Seychelles armed forces have received two light aircraft and two naval ships from China. After the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov criticized the Quad Group and accused the US of using India as an object against China, India has hit out at both Russia and China, saying that India has always pursued an independent foreign policy based on its national interest, and India's relationship with each country is independent of its relations with third countries, and India hopes that this is well understood and appreciated by all partners. The Chinese army deployed in Tibet Autonomous Region has recently received a type of exoskeleton suit that will enable them to conduct tasks more efficiently in high-altitude environments. Experts have said that the delivered exoskeleton is not meant for combat duties and is particularly effective in supply delivery and patrolling duties, but Chinese army has been testing more than 50 types of exoskeleton prototypes for combat duties made by 25 developers from all over the country. Oh,